Hi everyone, it's me, Daniel from The Benchmark. Uh, welcome to my little den. Um, I think I showed it to you before. Um, this is my uh, Hisense 4K TV. Um, 65 inches, it's a bit ridiculous. Um, great for gaming, um, also really good for video editing because um, I record in 4K. I also have a 4K monitor over there, but it's really messy over there. Um, that's my little Tagger Monaco. Um, which is pretty cool. Uh, anyway, um, so this is all about painting. Um, the car is finally, finally getting painted. It's taken forever. Um, and it's been rather traumatic with everything that's been going on in my personal life. Um, but it's worked out in the end. And it's worked out for the best. Because if I had it painted in London, for example... Um, I would have to be yo-yoing up and down, up and down, because my mum lives in the uh, middle of nowhere in Sussex. Um, it's quite a journey, and it's all country B-roads. So the car's finally getting done, so why don't we just lead straight into that now? Um, the car's been wet sanded, it's been stripped to bits. I need a new carbon splitter, but Teddy Shoe is on holiday, and he's the one... He's the man with the parts I need. Um, fingers crossed he'll be able to get them to me in time. So um, yeah, let's roll that footage. Yeah, I mean, it's loud enough as it is, isn't it? It's pretty loud, but you know, it's, it's on the border. Yeah, line. I mean, you sort of, I mean, to be honest, bring it up from your house. When I got up here, I said, you know, it's nice, but just a I bit. wouldn't want to drive it too far. You yeah. Get fed up. Oh, no, that's the weird thing. When you get the motorway, the gear really high. So sixth gear, it drops to two and a half at about 70, 80, and you can just hang along and put some music on and, uh, you know, you're happy as Larry. It's great. Um, so what I was going to ask, sorry, um, this trim here, yeah, oh, it's not picking up now. Pop these off, and this surround, this whole thing here comes off. Um, so it's like one, two, three, four bits of trim. And if you can somehow get those off for me, I'm going to have those sent off and made to look nice. Um, there's a guy who's going to do some Alcantara magic, so it matches. I mean, it looks like a piece of shit right now, but honestly, it's, it will look magical when it's done. And, um, oh yeah, so there's apart from that, there's nothing really, it's just the other two bits of the two bits of rust down here. Yep. Yeah. So why the skirts have come off, and there's one on the other side exactly the same. It really hasn't gone far at all, has it? No, it's nothing serious, it's just, there's no point in trying. Oh, Some coming up the arch, I think. Yeah, a little bit there, look. Oh, no way, oh no. But, but. Apparently the mirrors is not corrosion, I was told. No, erosion. Is erosion. It's oh, either or. Oh, I thought I got away with the drawings, that's a shame. Well, the time I could have got some plastic ones, you see. Once I've ground them out. Well, it'll last, what, five gone years? Through. Oh, good God, yeah. yeah. That's I'll get fine. The, the trim's off anyway, because this wheel's been off, so all this, this is a lot, so I'll get behind it, yeah. clean it and seal it. Yeah. I do I feel so sad looking like this, but I guess you're used to looking at cars like this. I'm sure it's not the most interesting. I'm, I'm glad you say that, that makes me feel... Well, now, that's how it looks to me, it's now... Now, look at the only metal bits I've got to paint. But before when everything's on it and the paraphernalia is on it, it's Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get you. So this is, I've got you on camera now, so if you can explain to people that don't understand Ralph. So this is Ralph, say hi Ralph. Morning. <laughs> Ralph is my paint guy and this here 
It's not dirty. It's what you call wet sand. Yeah, that's why I've wet sanded it down. Okay. Yeah, with 800 it's wet and dry. 800 wet and dry. And what does that do? It provides a key for the paint to go on. It provides a key to... <laughs> so the paint doesn't fall off when you put it on. <laughs> so when you spray it on, it's got a key. It's something like this. Oh, so it's not going back any further than no, this. Places will. Look, there's a chip there, there's a scratch there. Yeah. They'll have, to, they'll have to be sanded back to bare metal. The rust will have to go back to bare metal. Let's get you even that yep. may come down a bit more. And if I was to ask your professional opinion, 17 year old car, 12 owners, hard life. How does it look? It looks as if it's in quite a good shape. So it has been loved at points. It looks like it's. At the minute, I would say it hasn't been resprayed before. Not properly, it's only had patches done. Maybe. I haven't got to those bits yet. You can't really tell, but once you start going through, you'll start to see how many layers yeah. there are on it. But at the minute, it doesn't look like there's loads and loads, so it looks. That's good news. It looks like once a bit of rust are done on the chips and the little dents that are marked here. Yeah, yeah, there's tiny little t uh, car park things. Gaps are fine, doors open are fine. Oh yeah, the door's open. It's like a 911. <laughs> oh, heavy doors. I mean, they don't make them like they used to. Oh, is this the paint? Is this the paint? That's the one. That's what it's called. Marrakesh. And that's the colour. If you can pick the colour up. I mean, look, isn't it weird? It looks black on camera. I'm sure when I fiddle with it, oh look, look, it shifts in the light. Oh, 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 look at that. That's what it comes out of. Right? Taken those few oh, now it's shiny. It's shiny. And those few records and then gone and discovered. That's gorgeous. Lots of that. Well, Ralph's got to be one of the, the most unusual slash prettiest colours you've ever done. <laughs> I'm sure you've done some wild ones, but this is a wild. This is. Uh, well, everybody that I've spoken to has said, why is it brown? Which way does it fly? Towards me or outwards? Uh, go. Clock fly, so it will go that way. Great. Quite a bit. It got in quite deep, didn't it? Yeah. So we might have to do something with that. Well, I trust you know what you're doing, Ralph. You've seen this more times than I have. damaging it so what I'll do I'll probably cut a little bit out yeah I'll put a little plate in there mm -hmm. and then match it and then blend it in yeah and then you don't have to worry about rust anymore yeah apparently there was a flaw by the factory now this is what I heard from the guy that designed the car itself that there was like ridges in the lips where water would get caught yeah that's usually what happens um, and it's just a machine, they just can't get, you can't do anything about it. They've subsequently and stopped that now in later models, but this is the last one that suffered with it. This and all the previous ones. Um, 
There's not much you can do about it really, other than um, he said use that waterproof shit that they spray. Um, That's what we're doing, we're cut that out. And that's a good 10 years or so before you worry. Or a beige colour. Neutral colour, I think they call it. No, we found you now, you little bastard. But we'll get you right. Yeah, there was a terrible thing that was done here. I don't know if you saw it. it was, like someone had a paintbrush. Never seen anything like it. I don't know what they were thinking. When they bought it off the guy, he was so happily polishing, polishing this part, and I'm thinking, are you on drugs? I mean, <laughs> how can you not see that? <sighs> I just thought I'd remind everybody what the car will finally look like. I mean, when you see it as it is now, it's so easy to lose sight of what the car will finally look like um at the moment i mean it, it's a mess i mean look at it we've got like filmception going on here i mean this is kind of weird you're looking at this and yeah anyway the car looks terrible and that can't be helped when when you're painting a car it's gonna look like shit um but i promise you it's going to be amazing when it's finally done it's going to look absolutely incredible, I promise you. Nothing. It's going to be one of the best, or if the best, naturally aspirated E46s out there. One of the top ten, at least. Um, and I stand by that. I'm putting everything, my heart, my soul, everything into this car. Um, and you may question some of the uh, decisions I've made. Um, I don't care. They're mine. And I've chosen them because it's something I wanted to do. Um, and that's what's happening. But in case you're watching this video and thinking, oh God, this car is horrible. Um, I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all, of course. Look at it. It looks terrible. But I just want to remind you what it will look like. This, this is the ugly duckling stage. It's going to turn into a glorious swan. That sounds so cheesy. Um, it's going to be incredible. Um, and it's going to look incredible next four weeks. In the next four weeks, you won't recognize it anymore. It's just going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing to look at. It's going to be amazing to drive. And it's going to sound incredible. So just remember that. And in case you forgot... Here's the uh, the renderings that I had done, okay?